All right, guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be doing a demo of version two of the Blueprint Shader. So, as you can see right here, this is what you have all been requesting. We have a textured um, image mapped and image textured model right here mixed within my Blueprint Shader. So, as you can see, we have half Blueprint and we have half shoe. So, I'm going to show you guys a quick demo on how this works, how we can customize this, and how we can import our own models um, with image texture. So, very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import my 3D model that I just downloaded from CG Trader. I believe it was an object file, so I'm going to select the object type, go to my downloads, scroll down to find my 3D model, and it should be right in this folder that I created right here. One second, guys, thank you for your patience. There it is right here. All right, so here's our 3D model, and as you can see, this is our sh other shoe right here with no texture. So, Starting out with no textures, by the way, I am rendering this in Eevee right now in real time. I'm just going to give this a quick 180. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just bring this down to the floor, place it nicely, and I'm going to add in my textures. So as you can see, we have no textures right now. The very first thing I'm going to do to apply my blueprint shader, for those of you who are just purchasing it, purchasing it for the first time, go down to the bottom right of my screen, click on the materials tab, and I'm going to add on my blueprint shader. And don't worry, this will be much more organized um, in a minute. So I'm going to click this, just click the other one, and I'm just going to uh, link the material. So as you can see, this does not look very good, and that's because we have to link our image maps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to my shader editor with my shoe selected. Now, if you have two separate uh, ones that you want to have um, in the same scene, that's fine. Just duplicate the material, which is what I did right here. Go ahead and select your first part of your image map. And for mine, I have, um, I believe I only have a diffuse and then I have a displacement. So I'm only gonna be using the diffuse for this. As you can see, the diffuse applied very nicely. There it is right there. And then the very next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to delete metallic one. Delete metallic, I'm gonna delete roughness. I'm gonna go to the normal map. I'm going to select my normal map. And as you can see, the shoe looks really nice. Now, how do we actually uh, get our blueprint shader to work? Well, it's already working. As you can see, if I go to my top down view for an easier view, I go ahead and move this. You can now see that our blueprint shader is working with our image textured shoe. Now, this image texture isn't perfect. As you can see, it's kind of grainy. But the way that this works is I actually have my own custom empty, which is sitting right here. Now, it's kind of hard to see. It might be underneath of our scene. However, as long as you have that empty selected, when you move it around, you can actually decide where this is going to start and stop. You can rotate the empty like such, like I'm doing right now. And one of the greatest parts about this shader is that if you click on the shoe, you can actually pop open this tab just a little bit more and you can scroll down here and you can adjust every single aspect of this. For example, I think I want the grid lines to just be white for this specific shoe. I also think the grid line density should be maybe a little bit less. Maybe something a little bit more like that. And I think I also want that triangular opacity to come in well. You see if I zoom in, you can really see that. Um, and then for the detail scale, I think I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. And I'm also going to make that a white color as well, just like that. And that looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and play with the scale just a little bit. I think that looks really nice. And if you zoom in, you can really see a nice, close, detailed shot of that shoe. I think this looks really nice. So that is basically it, guys. All you have to really do is add your object. Make sure you link up your actual materials down here. And I put instructions for you guys if you get confused. Um, and once you have all of your image textures hooked up to this principled BSDF, please don't touch any of this stuff right here, um, you should be good to go. Now, there is one more thing I'm going to go over, and that is how to adjust this faded area. If you scroll up on the actual shader on the right-hand side here, and you go to the blueprint fade, you'll see there's a color ramp here. If I adjust this color ramp, I can make this either extremely sharp, where that cutoff is, or I can make it very faded like this. Some of you might prefer a more faded look. That's totally fine. That is how you customize that. And if you want to get really, really into it, you can go into my node group here. You can go to the scale that's hooked up to the color ramp. You can start messing with that as well. Um, just be careful. You don't really want to mess the shader up too much. But again, this is 
how you would do that. So like you, like I said right there, when I mess with that Z value, it's actually going to mess the shader up just a little bit. Now what's really cool too, is if you just want to adjust this manually with just the shoe, I can actually just move the shoe in and out of the area where the blueprint starts and stops, which is totally awesome. Now all of these controls within my mixer over here will still work, as you can see, I'm adjusting them in real time right now. Uh, for example, the outline opacity, that main outline, you can completely turn that off. Uh, the grid opacity, you can turn that down as well if you don't want any grid. So there's a lot of awesome customization that we can do here. And I do think that this boot back here is a great example of how this works. You can see that I have decided where I want my angled cutoff to be for my blueprint versus my actual uh, shoe texture. And what's great about this is this is an EV in real time. There's almost zero lag. So I was really happy to get it to work for that. Um, it's just really nice to be able to do that. Um, so as you can see, if I scale this up, scale down a little bit, everything's looking great. And we have our shoes side by side. Now remember, as I move this on the X axis, I'm gonna transition back into my non-blueprint mode which is really nice. So if I wanted these to be kind of side by side like this, I can do that, right? So guys, with that being said, that is pretty much it. That is how you import a model, add your textures to my shader, and still enable blueprint mode. A lot of you guys have been asking for this, so again, I wanted to cover it. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the YouTube uh, comment section below. Um, I'm really curious to see how you guys use this. For the people that have already bought it, um, I'm either going to give you a really good deal on it or I'm going to release it for free. And then for those of you who haven't bought this yet, um, version 2 will just cost the same amount as it did for version 1, um, just to try to make things as fair as possible. Again, this is the Blueprint Shader V2, and I think it came out really, really nicely. I'm very happy with how this looks, um, and I want to go ahead and just quickly switch over to Cycles so you can compare the difference really quickly. And this is cycles. As you can see, a little bit more of a lag because it is cycles again, but it still looks fantastic. I personally prefer cycles because you get those really nice realistic shadows, but if you switch back to Eevee, you can see shadows just aren't as great. But if you're looking for a really quick render with a textured object, this is 100% the way to go. So with that being said, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the tutorial slash demo. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this made sense. If it didn't, just reach out to me. Again, I'm just going to quickly recap because I want to make sure everybody's on the same page. This right here, do not touch this. You will have to go to the shader editor to add your textures in. This is going to be your actual texture. So this is actually what the textures feed into to show up on your shoe or whatever your object is. And then right here, I'm going to leave these slots open for you to add in your roughness, your base color, your normal map, displacement, metallic, whatever you have that you can plug into our principle right here, feel free to do so. And if you really want to get fancy, even though I really shouldn't be doing this, you can go ahead and unplug your principle right here and you can plug in anything you want. You can do another shader. You can do your own mix shader, a glass shader. Um, last but not least, mapping, I wouldn't touch that again. Everything that you really need is right here. You need to have those image textures associated with your object. If you don't, you can't just download the object and they'll just appear. Um, FBX, I think sometimes will automatically do that, but ob object-based, I believe you, you need those image textures hooked up manually. So just make sure you guys do that um, in order to get the result. And if for some reason you import your model, and this is all you see right away, you don't see the blueprint shader, keep in mind, you're not in the blueprint zone, right? So this empty down here is what controls where the blueprint starts and stops. So if it, if, if it seems like it's not working, make sure you find this transition controller. Again, on the right-hand side, you'll see in the hierarchy, it says transition controller. Just hit G to move that, and you can move it however you'd like. You can adjust the rotation, right? There's a lot of really fun, awesome things you can do with this. So that pretty much wraps up the tutorial. Um, this was fun. Um, the only other thing I can think of, if you want, you guys can animate this right here, this empty. Um, so you could have you know, the shoe start out completely textured and you could animate this empty to slowly reveal your blueprint. Just something cool you can do. Um, there's a lot of power behind this, a lot of functionality. 
So I really, really hope that you guys get some value out of this. And I hope that um, you can utilize this to your advantage for whatever project you're using. Again, if you already bought the shader, I will be, um, I'm just going to give you guys the shader because I feel like it's only fair since you already bought the first one. This is version two. This is kind of a beta version of version two, but I'm just going to give it to you guys because I want you to have that creative freedom. If you haven't already bought the shader, I am going to um, just create a separate listing on Gumroad and Blender Market for version two. Um, so again, it's going to be the same price point, either $10 or $15, depending on what I set it up as. Uh, Blueprint Shader is still on sale at $10, so you might as well get, get that now if you haven't already. Um, and go have fun with it, guys. I hope you have fun. If you do end up creating a project around this using my shader, I would love if you could tag me on Instagram, YouTube, wherever, uh, and just show me your creation. I would love to check it out see what you guys come up with. i um, super excited to be releasing this. I've been super busy with some stuff lately, but um, I just went ahead and took a couple hours out of tonight to finalize all of the nodes and work on everything. So I really do hope you guys enjoy this, and um, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Comment anything below that you need help with. I'm here to help. You can also message me on Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, everybody have a great day. Enjoy the new shader, and I will talk to you guys in the next tutorial.